Hello, my name is Miguel. I'm from Brazil. I'm going to present you the project I've been working for a young size program for the past three months. Uh, the, the project I've applied and I've been accepted is called Role Play Games for Environmental Education. Uh, this logo here is from Science Voice, a non uh organization that my mentor, Lev uh works in. Uh, the game we are making is called Sustainable States. Uh, it actually uh, already uh, exists. Uh, Lev has made some play sessions here in Brazil at Campinas. Uh, so uh, the problem is uh, they have to work with uh, Google Docs, uh, Discord, and <clears throat> Google Drive. And uh, there's a lot of data, there's a lot, of, a lot of work for the professors to do for the sessions, and the, the information is not centralized. So what are you gonna, we are trying to do, we're going to create a board game, and the board responds to the, the, the rules the pair set, and the data will be managed by it, and the, all the data is gonna be in the board. So that's gonna uh, help a lot. Uh, the methodology we used, we had these weekly meetings, we discussed about the work done in the past week, and we have been brainstorming a lot of how we can do it, how we can create this board, how we can proto prototype it, and we've set um, a set of rules for the prototype. So this is one of the board ideas we have, we currently have, we have this uh, main board and these little boards that uh, the governance don't want uh, the secret information to be shared to them uh, to everybody so that's why you have these little bars and the main board and this device here we will transfer the data uh, we want for the boards uh, and for the prototyping we're using unity that is a game engine and we've set a simple set of rules and it's currently in progress so this is the creation prototype i've been working in the past week um, here we can zoom in uh, here we can see the cities and the farms and they generate uh, roads to connect them to supply the cities. Uh, the cities currently uh, take the nearest farm to create a, uh, a road to it. Um, the farms can produce and uh, here we see the zones of the map. This is Arako, a country of Totokan. Uh, so here we can see light green is like zone 3 is super fertile we have this zone here dark that's not so fertile this is like medium fertile and white's not fertile at all and uh, the the farms can level up they uh, start their subsistence farms and can go to even uh, agro corporation and they produce even more and they produce more according to the fertile fertility of the zone they currently are